having adequate knowledge on the latest papers in your field as well as knowing about the experts in your field are very important these two things would enable you to do a research in a right and systematic way for that this will help you if you enable google scholar alerts for your topic as well as the experts in your field that would definitely aid you to be to, to stay updated in your uh, research field so today i have come up with an, a, a video about how to create google scholar alerts by the way i am raju segrad if you are first timer to my new channel to this youtube channel please uh, consider to subscribe my youtube channel so that you will get lot of research related videos in the future okay let us i'll tell you how to create the google scholar alerts straight away and go to the google scholar home page just scholar.google.com just to here you have to go and once you go to this page and you will come you land in this home page here and you see all these things my profile library and everything you need to create profile before you create this alert and i have already uh, told you uh, given in one video about how to create a uh, google scholar profile you just click and watch it okay so after uh, uh, landing into this page just to click this three uh, line come to alert just click the alerts here you have to uh, once you click the alert it will it will take you to the alert page so i have already created certain five alerts so let me tell you the new one how to create just click this create alert and here uh, you can use uh, uh, i want to create alert about digital tools in online online class online classroom just i want to know about first let me before i create i can check the results I, when i click update results i'll come to know how many there are so many papers published in 2020 about digital communication digital tools related to that thing and i want to create an alert for example you can create alert for the top results as well as all results all results mean it will all the papers whatever is published on the uh, related to this topic it will come results mean the top relevant thing would come so better you click the top results then you have already uh, updated so just to click create alert once you create alert it will be added here in your alert list you can see see all already i had this thing but this is the new one digital tools in online classroom it is it has been created so now let let, uh, let me tell you how to add authors for example i want to know about one author yeah tom shakespeare he is expert in uh, uh, disability studies i want to create alert for him whenever he publishes a new paper i want to get alert so just i create uh, these are the top results he has published two papers and uh, i want to have create alert just i am saying that create alert yeah now you can see tom shakespeare the alert has been created so uh, Uh, by the way i have told you two option one is to create the alert for a topic specific articles or create alert for the particular author whenever he publishes a paper you will get immediate notification in your mailbox okay how normally you would get mail i'll show you my uh, mail here look at there and let me just i i show you my alert page generally uh, see these are the alerts i received uh, what do you call uh, for my uh, alert set up see one is my new citation to your article that is i have created alert for my whenever i get a new citation by my for my article i have created alert you can see here look at there new citation in my article i have created as that's why i get immediate uh, notification and look at this is the another one i am following one author uh, wahid uh, wahid you can see he has published a new article in 2021 for that i got an alert uh, for example december 30th december 2021 i got this alert so this is how you will be receiving alerts for the author as well as for your what you call a topic in case 
after some time you find that you have great alert but you don't find that particular thing is not a particular thing is not really useful then it is very simple you can simply cancel the alert so for example digital tools you don't want you simply cancel it and it will ask you whether to cancel it you can cancel and in this email id also in case you want to give your own email id otherwise for this google scholar uh, uh, research paper purpose if you create a new id also you can create and if you give that id whatever the id you give it, to that id the alert will be sent by the google scholar great i hope this will be useful to you if you find it useful i i need a favor from you and uh, just to share this video to other people and please leave your comments about this video and so that other people may find it useful i'll catch you in the next video till then stay tuned bye bye from rajshekha